Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. I want to welcome you to another one of our wonderful installments of All Things MG and remind you that as the weather turns, at least in these northern climates, that you should attend to storing your car correctly. But we'll deal with that next week. This week, we have two, two exciting features. This one and then the video right after this. This one is T-type thermostats. I mean, how exciting can it possibly be? So here is the poor man's um, the poor man's T-type thermostat repair. We've taken the original steel housing, we put it on a belt sander and sanded it so that it was absolutely smooth on the top. Then we took a torch and heated it up and put a pre-lead solution that you use for body work on here to tin the top of this cast iron housing. Then we tinned four spots on the underside of the thermostat, set the thermostat on top, heated it up, ran a little bit more solder in there, let it cool. And an essential part for all MG owners who are now buying thermostats, make sure that you install an eighth inch bleed hole in the thermostat. Without this bleed hole, you can end up with air trapped inside. So you fill up the radiator, you think the engine's full of water, it is not. You have to have a bleed hole. And for whatever reason, all the modern thermostats that we've been getting recently from Napa, Stant thermostats, have come without this air bleed hole. I don't understand why. Maybe it's another nickel to make and the modern cars have different ways of getting the air out. But this is essential. Without this, you never know if the engine is full of, wa of water coolant or not. So anyway, we heated it up, tinned the top of this, tinned the bottom of the, of the thermostat, put them together, heated it up, flowed a little bit more solder in there. Hey, this is great. A 180 thermostat. Now this has always got a bypass on it. There's this elbow on the, on the side that you can barely see here from the angle of the of the camera, but there's this bypass that comes down to a hose. Now that bypass is as big around as my thumb and the water would rather take that route rather than go through the radiator. So you've got to reduce the diameter of this bypass. In other words, put a piece of hose inside the existing hose and reduce the size of the bypass down to that of like a, a pencil or, or a, a, a just a regular sort of thick uh, pen something about like that. So anyway, that's my comment today about T-type thermostats. So you don't have to buy that exotic thermostat. Unless, of course, you want to have it all original and so forth. With a sleeve on it that opens and closes. And it's very cool, very expensive. This is the dollar solution. Anyway, check with you later. Thanks, and safety fast.